Hi there, this is Dan May from Ramsack. Um, We recognise that in these unusual times of COVID, um, an awful lot of our clients are sending their staff to work remotely from home for the foreseeable future. And of course, that brings with it a whole load of uh, new challenges. Many of our customers have got Microsoft Teams technology available to them. And while some parts of their organisations have been using Teams for quite a long time, we also recognise that this week there are a whole load of colleagues using Teams for the first time. We've got a number of resources that help you understand how to best use Teams. But in this very short uh, vlog, I just want to explain how to use Teams to have a video call with a colleague. So um, you'll recognize the Teams application if you've got that installed. So I'm just going to open up my Teams window here. Um, there are sort of three parts of Teams, three columns, if you like. You've got your sort of your activity feed and sections here. In this second column, we've got the Teams that we're a part of. And then you've got the sort of the main screen in front of you. So you're probably already a part of a team. Um, there's a separate vlog which we'll share a link to at the end of this vlog which uh, goes into much more detail about creating teams and channels um, itself but in, for the purpose of this call I want to just very briefly show you how you use this as a messenger tool and how you use this as a video calling tool with colleagues so probably the easiest thing to do is hover over this button at the top here it's a little notepad and pen um, if we click on here, we can create a new chat. So it's going to create a chat window. Um, it, think of this as a, being a bit like WhatsApp. So I can either contact somebody that, um, that I've already been in communication with, or I could start a chat with a new um, colleague, uh, either on a one-to-one -one basis or, or with two or three people at a time. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to add in Lou, who's our marketing manager, and Lawrence, who's one of our relationship directors. Um, and um, what I've got here is I've got, hi Lou, hi Lawrence, um, just demonstrating uh, chat within teams um so um lou and lawrence assuming they've got the the teams application open i can see they're online this little green tick here tells me that both of these colleagues are available at the moment um so lou's responded um so here we've got effectively a WhatsApp window where we can chat. Now, as I say, you could have done this on a sort of a one-to-one -one basis, um, or we can create sort of on-the-fly groups of people that we want to work together. Um, but this is where it gets really useful. I can now say that what I want to do is turn this into a video call. So I've got these various options at the top. The first one here is a video call. So if I click on this, going to see me in my scruffy work from home garb um, but this is now calling Lou and it's calling Lawrence both of whom are now coming online hi Lou hi Lawrence so what we can see in this demonstration is both uh, Lou is working from home Lawrence is still on our skeleton staff back in the office uh, so he's there so we've now got a, a, a sort of a three-way conversation now I could have up to a couple of hundred people on this call if I wanted to but what we're also seeing at a time where lots of colleagues are working remotely is the need to be able to collaborate on various documents. So what we've got in this uh, sort of option box here is, oh, well done, Lawrence. He's putting his hand sanitizer on. Uh, what we've got on the, um, on the option here is this little screen share button. So if I click on screen share, uh, what I get is the option to share my desktop or share a window or a particular application that I've got open. So for example, I could just click on um, on my calendar here, for example, um, and what the guys are going to get is a view of my calendar. The red box around the outside shows me that this is what I'm sharing, and I've still got uh, the video call in the bottom here, um, so I can see that Lawrence and Louise are both online. Guys, I'm guessing you can probably see my calendar there. Um, and uh, if I just click uh, back in, then I can stop the sharing. Uh, just another little handy tip to you if you are working from home and you're worried about you know the dirty washing hanging on the air in the background again if we click on this more actions button here one of the things i can do is i can blur my background 
if I just do that, you'll have seen that on that picture of me at the bottom, everything behind me is just blurred and it just gives me a bit of privacy in the background. So thanks, Lou. Thanks, Lawrence. I'm going to hang up now. So there you have it. Uh, that's just a very quick and simple way to get get um, on board with your team. Keep making sure that the communication levels are high. Um, video calls definitely add so much more context than just uh, instant chat or phone calls alone. Um, and certainly over the next few weeks, while more and more of you are working from home, I really recommend that you consider um, how this technology might might help you to stay in touch, keep that team morale going. Um, you know, use we're going to be using this for sort of daily group chats with all of our team just to sort of keep people feeling as though they're part of something joint um, and then again that ability to sort of share documents uh, on the screen live hopefully will be really useful to you many thanks for watching take care